Hello everyone, this video is meant to clarify some things if you are interested in adopting a dog from Greece or if you have adopted a Greek dog recently or in the past few years and um, if you're planning on traveling with your dog to the Mediterranean I'm hoping to scare you enough so that you're very careful with the dog's antiparasitic treatment so that it doesn't get infected. I've heard some crazy rumors lately about how the Greek dogs are so sick and the Mediterranean dogs carry diseases that are rare and difficult to cure. Um, most of this stuff comes uh, from pure ignorance, uh, starting from the vets abroad who are not familiar with those Mediterranean diseases that we consider pretty harmless, especially if they are diagnosed early and treated properly. I'm not a vet, so I'll just cover the five main Mediterranean diseases that are most common here. All of them are transmitted by parasites that thrive here almost all year long due to the hot climate. The most famous one is the heartworm. <coughs> It is the same heartworm that you can find in the US. It's transmitted by infected mosquitoes and it's exactly what it sounds like foot long worms that live in the dog's heart, lungs and associated blood vessels. Symptoms may include fatigue, cough, reluctance to exercise, decreased appetite, weight loss. You can find anything online about the heartworm, its prognosis and its treatment, so I'll just stop here. Numbers two and three, Erlichia and Anaplasma. They seem pretty cute and harmless, but they can be proven deadly if left untreated for too long. Those two are quite similar. They're kind of like brother and sister. Erlichia is a microorganism that lives in the blood cells and gradually ruins them. And Anaplasma is a bacteria that lives in the red blood cells. Both diseases are transmitted by infected ticks and uh, the dogs can be from totally asymptomatic to having symptoms like uh, fatigue, fatigue, swollen joints, hemorrhage and lack of appetite. The cure is a simple antibiotic based in uh, dox, doxy, doxy, sick. this one. Even if a dog has had treatment, it can still test positive for Erlichia and Anaplasma. Don't panic, it only means that it takes a while for the dog's organism to test clear of those two. Number four is Babesia, a parasite that also infects the red blood cells and can lead to anemia. Babesia is also transmitted by infected ticks and the symptoms may include lethargy, weakness, vomiting, anorexia, even some respiratory problems. Dogs are usually treated with imidoc... This thing. Number five, the king of them all, the black sheep, the mystery disease, Leishmaniasis. It's the one everybody is afraid of, apart from us, because we live with it and we see it as anything but scary. My dog Apollo has had it and he has been testing negative for years now and he's as healthy as can be. Leishmaniasis is caused by the Leishmania parasite that is transmitted by infected sand flies that look like small mosquitoes. Symptoms can range from nothing because we get totally asymptomatic dogs to weight loss, lack of appetite, fatigue, dermatological problems, swollen lymph glands, unnatural growth of the dog's nails, dry nose. If left untreated, it basically leads to organ failure and death. The best treatment includes shots of <laughs> meglumin antimoniat uh, that basically attack the parasite's glucose and allopurinol, allopurinol, oh, allopurinol pills uh, that are given daily to the dogs for 6 to 12 months usually, maybe it depends. Leishmaniasis is complicated. All of these diseases can be detected with a simple blood test or with a SNAP test, which is something like a pregnancy test that gives results immediately. Um, the SNAP test covers four of those five uh, things apart from Babesia and it also includes Lyme disease, which is Totally not common here in Greece. Uh, just make sure that if your dog tests positive for any of them, you also need to check um, his liver, his ki kidneys uh, and do general blood tests. That makes sense. If you have adopted a Greek or Mediterranean dog, try checking him or her uh, once a year for those diseases. Some of them, like Leishmaniasis, for example, can incubate and appear years later. That doesn't mean that the rescuers gave you a sick dog uh, lying about him being healthy. Make sure that your vet knows that you have a dog from Greece and that he knows what this means. Unfortunately, some vets abroad scare their clients because they actually don't know what they're dealing with. And I've heard uh, weird cases like a vet in Scandinavia who completely blocked his client because she came back from Greece with uh, a rescue dog or uh, an another dog that was Leishmaniasis positive was kicked out of training school in Germany because the trainer was afraid that um, the dog would infect her, her client's dogs. 
Those things don't happen. If you're a vet or a trainer or whoever, please stop spreading false rumors because you're embarrassing yourself. You can find some links about the diseases mentioned in the description box below. All animals in this video were rescued from the streets of Greece. If you wish to support and support any of the Greek charities, uh, you can find a link in the description box below. And if you wish to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon. Patronize me. <laughs> Thank you for watching.